how do we sync our camera footage, our camera clips, with the files from our field recorder, our production audio? Well, there's two main ways. And the first way is so amazing, it didn't exist when I first got into filmmaking, and that's allowing DaVinci Resolve to analyze the waveforms of your camera clips and your audio files and match that up. This is why we talked about in production how important it is to have your camera audio loud enough. That's so when you do get to post, Resolve can look at the audio on your camera, on your camera clips, and sync that up with your field recorder files. Let's say that didn't happen. Let's say you didn't even get camera audio. Well, you can still sync it up with the clap of your slate. So we're going to take a look at both ways and how to do that. So I'm on the media page, and I've seen one take two from my camera and then my field recorder. If I control click or right click and go to clip attributes on the camera footage, and then go to the audio tab, I can see that it's embedded channel one, embedded channel two. This is my camera audio. And if I go to clip attributes on the audio file, audio tab, it's mix L, mix right from the field recorder. Okay, since I have camera audio, all I need to do is highlight both of them, control click or right click, and go to auto sync audio based on waveform. And now if I go to clip attributes on the camera footage, you'll see it says mix L, mix right. So now it's using the audio from the field recorder. Now if I hit the down arrow here, I can see that I still can choose the camera audio, but normally I'm never going to do that. And if I jump over to the edit page in a blank timeline, and then bring that scene one take two down, there I can see the audio and the video. You're in that movie. Now for example, if I go to clip attributes and set it back to the embedded channels, this is what it would have looked like. Drag that down now. So see, there's the camera audio. It hardly even shows because it's very quiet. I probably should have had that a little louder because what happens, we've talked about this, if your camera audio isn't loud enough, like maybe your camera is too far away from your talent, sometimes Resolve will not sync them up because it can't read this audio very well. In fact, that puts us to the other way to do this. I'm going to go back to the media page. I'm going to go to Reckoning. This is just a scene from Reckoning. Scene 7, take 5. So I do have camera audio on this clip. There's the embedded channels. However, on this particular clip, I didn't have my camera audio loud enough. And so if I tell Resolve to do this, it's going to fail. It's going to say it can't do it. And so what do you do? Well, that's when you have to rely on your slate. So how would we go about this? Well, let's make sure we have a slate, because if we don't, we're in trouble. And there it is. I saw it. Okay, so we have a slate. So let's double click on the audio. There it is. And then over here on the right, it will probably default to meters. Click on waveform. And what we want to do is find the clap of the slate in this audio file. And it's going to be something that peaks more than everything else typically. And this is probably it. Let's back that up. There. Yep, that was it. So I'm going to position my playhead right before, not after it but before it. And then I'm going to double click on the camera clip and find that slate. Okay. And with these both positioned, I haven't marked any endpoints or anything like that. I'm just going to click on this little chain link icon. And that's it. We've just told Resolve to link these two clips based on where the playheads were. So let's test that. Let's go back to clip attributes, audio, and there we see now it's mix L, mix R. And again, drop down will show the embedded channels there as well. Nice. So it's great to see that you can rely on a slate to sync up your picture and audio, but you can also see that that's very time consuming. That's how we used to do it all the time back in the day before NLEs would sync up your picture based on waveform. In fact, if you bring in a bunch of clips, you can highlight them all and then control click or right click and tell it to auto sync based on waveform and it'll just do them all at once. I have seen Resolve hiccup on that, and it's matched some clips the wrong way, which isn't a big deal. You just have to redo those. So you can either try that out for yourself or just do them one by one, whatever makes sense for you. And there you have it. Two easy ways to sync up camera and field recorder clips within DaVinci Resolve. Hey, if you like this training, you should check out my online film school, writedirect.co. What is it? In a nutshell, I teach aspiring directors how to make a movie from start to finish. We begin in development, we learn storytelling because nothing else matters. And then after that, 
we go through pre-production, production, and post-production in granular detail. This will help you sidestep the time and expense of traditional film school. And I know because that's what I did. I went to Los Angeles, I went to film school, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's also very expensive, and when you graduate, you realize that that degree or education isn't going to land you a job. What will land you a job? The things you've done, the movies you've directed. So you can see where this is going. If you're tabbed out after school, you're in a tough spot. And that's why you can go to Los Angeles and meet so many aspiring filmmakers working at restaurants and things like this. They're trying to make ends meet while they pursue their dreams. Write and Direct is designed to help you pursue your dreams faster. Check it out, writedirect.co, and if not there, I'll see you here on the channel very soon. Thank you.